welcome back to my channel and welcome back to New York City. We are just on our way to try one of the places that is on our list. We've got a massive list of food to try on this trip. Uh, this is actually a coffee place. So it's called 10,000 Coffee. So you can see we've just walked past the iconic Macy's. And right ahead of us is the flashing lights of Times Square. So this is the place we're heading to. It's called 10,000 Coffee. It's on Broadway between 38th and 39th Street. So we actually didn't make it all the way down to Times Square. You can just see it off in the distance, all of the lights down there. So this is the espresso cream latte. It's iced obviously. And you get this cute little cookie thing with it. Mm. <laughs> it's like, um, it's really creamy. Yeah, it's really creamy. Obviously, cause it's like <laughs> cream latte. Mm. But it's like, it's not very strong coffee taste, but it's nice, yeah. subtle coffee taste. I'd say this is good for somebody that, if you like Starbucks drinks, like you're more into that kind of, like the frappuccinos and like the flavors and stuff, not this is a good one. Not as or sweet. Yeah, not as bitter coffee, not as sweet. So, but overall a better balance. <laughs> so it's like Starbucks, but like way nicer. <laughs> no, it's not that expensive. It probably is the same as, what's a venti Starbucks? Well, this was like, it was $6.50, I think, for this one. Um, which isn't too bad and um, yeah, it's absolutely delicious. But like, this is something that I could literally just drink. Like, I could drink this all up <laughs> in like a minute. <laughs> it's really like, um, even though it's creamy, it's really light. That's what I mean, like, as in I could literally just drink the whole yeah. thing up. Um, it's not like, it's not heavy and it's not overly sweet, which I really like. So this is the pour over coffee. So we just watched him do this one. It's a three minute process. Um, and it's actually quite cool to watch as well. Then you get to pick which kind of bean you want. So we went for the darker bean, which is the Columbia. And it comes with a chocolate orangette, I think it's called. And um, now we didn't realize that actually the little treat that you get is specifically for your drink. So um, the one that we got over here is specifically to go with the cream latte. And then this one is to go with the pour over. So um, the guy said to us like, you can just, you can dip it in your coffee. You can just like eat it along with your coffee, but it's specifically there to have with your coffee. So the cookie that comes with the cream latte is called a honey cookie and it tastes just like stroop waffle. It's really nice, kind of similar consistency as well. I'm gonna try the pour over coffee. That is good. That's like your strong coffee hit. If you're a coffee lover and you need that coffee hit in the morning, that's what you want. Oh, that's good. Isn't it nice? That's good, yeah. That is so nice. <laughs> it's obviously just chocolate on orange, but with the coffee as well, when you dip it in. Mm, that's really good. We are just at Chelsea Market. We actually popped in and went to Los Tacos number one, which we've heard is the best taco place in New York. We asked the lady that served us what to get and she said, anything with steak and pork. So that's basically what we went for. So these are the two pork tacos. This is the steak taco. And then this one around right here is the fried quesadilla. And we got that with pork, right? <laughs> Just accentuating the quesadilla. So You're so excited. I actually am like, I could do a happy food dance right now. So Rachel's gonna dig into the pork. We also actually got a mix of flour and corn tortilla. So that one is the corn tortilla. I don't feel like there's any way to eat a taco gracefully. You just have to go for it. Is it good? Right, so I'm also trying the pork, but I've got a flour tortilla. Mm. It's got a nice little kick as well. Oh, that's a lovely spice, but everything tastes so fresh. You know, we just have like proper fresh salad and stuff, like the dressings and things that they use. So they use cilantro, onions, 
guacamole, like everything tastes so fresh. That pork, oh my God, there's so much flavor in the pork. That is actually delicious. You could just eat so many of these though. <laughs> so I'm just trying the fried quesadilla. Rachel's already had a little bite and she thought it was really good. It's delightful. Is that even nicer than the taco? I know. Oh my god. The taco is amazing though. Oh my god, this is so good. This is, it is a slightly different. The texture of this is gorgeous though. Mm. I would definitely recommend getting one of these yeah. as well. So I'm just trying the steak taco. Now this is again a corn tortilla. So I haven't tried the corn tortilla yet. <laughs> mm. You know it's good when you go for a second bite without saying mm. anything. That is really, really good. I feel like that one's a little bit spicier. Ooh. That's really good. Maybe the steak is a little bit spicier than the pork. Um, the steak is beautiful, but I would say the pork is nicer. So um, definitely make sure you get pork when you come. I'd recommend trying the steak as well though. But yeah, I'm glad we got pork in the quesadilla for our extra one. <laughs> but that is delicious. That is really good steak. It's not like chewy or anything. It's like really flavorsome and soft. And yeah, it's just beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna head back inside the Chelsea market and see what else we can find. We're kind of thinking we might fancy like a bubble tea or I don't know something a bit more refreshing we're quite full after those tacos but I could definitely fit in something sweet or like oh yeah this place smells so good tings it's called Jamaican jerk chicken it smells amazing it smells so good we were eyeing up at this lobster place over here it looks really nice and then last tacos number one if you are looking for that and you're coming in here just come in take a right and head all the way around and it's just in here they've actually cleared down the line there was a decent line when we just got our tacos because we were actually probably their like second customer of the day but then quite a big line formed behind us we literally only got here about five minutes before they opened and we didn't have to wait very long at all i imagine this gets super super busy during the day but yeah this place is so cool there's just lots of really cool looking food places i imagine you could spend loads of time here just wandering around trying lots of different bits from all the different stalls and little cute shops and stuff. So I think we're gonna head on down this way. Rachel's just popped into the loo, so they do have toilets inside, which is handy. There's so many different like cuisines to try. Honestly, I feel like I could come here every day for a week and I'd still have places that I wanna try. There's a really cute looking gelato place right down the end here. I wouldn't mind a bit of ice cream right now. We've had a very early lunch. So last tacos opens at 11, so we had that at 11. So, I mean, we can have early dessert as well, right? I like that they have lots of little seating dotted around the place. Now we actually went outside as you'll have seen, uh, but in that little place where we were outside, they actually had heaters and stuff, which was much needed for today because it is, I think about zero degrees right now. <laughs> uh, that's zero degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but it's freezing temperature, like literally freezing temperature. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was nice sitting outside though. I was admiring this little bakery here on the right hand side as well. Uh, you can actually see they're like baking back here. They've got the whole setup going on and that's where they're baking all of the fresh goods that then go on into the bakery, which is just over here on the left hand side. So you know you're getting really fresh baked goods. So we've just come down the main stairs and we spotted a sign for a boba tea place. I think we're gonna try it. It says, I think there's like Pearl River Mart Foods is the place, which is just over here. So we're gonna give that a little look-see, see what we can see inside, see if it looks good. So it looks like it's a market, but then it also does teas and dumplings and things oh that's quite cool they just have that in the shop so quick change in plan we stumbled across this hot fresh donut place which is back upstairs and i think we're going to order some donuts so you basically get to pick your flavor of sugar and they have this massive menu of all different types of flavors so we've gone with cinnamon sugar and salted caramel and then we got the dulce de leche sauce is that how do you say it? dulce de leche Dulce, dulce de leche sauce which is it's kind of like a caramel right like it's like a toffee caramel sort of 
So yeah, let's give these a go. They are fresh. You literally saw them just being cooked. Those donuts were delicious. I would actually recommend though, not get in the sauce. Yeah. They're really nice with just the sugar, weren't they? And yeah. the first time we tasted them, we had sauce and it was only when I tried them without the sauce, I was like, oh, actually, now I can actually taste the sugar. Yeah, exactly. Which like, seems, you know, you should just know that, but yeah. I would say don't get sauce if you are getting those donuts, just get the lovely sugars on them and then try that. Um, we just came out of the main exit from Chelsea Market, which is on 9th Avenue. And we actually went in originally down on 15th Street, which is the side you go in if you want to go straight to Los Tacos number one. And that's where we sat out on the booth outside as well, which was perfect because it was heated and everything. Um, now we're just going to go to CVS. Um, we're going to try and get something to help keep our faces cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the vlog from yesterday. Um, we had quite the mishap with a beauty product um, that has apparently been recalled. Um, but yeah, just like literally burnt our faces. Um, so yeah, quite a traumatic evening. It's a lot better today though. Uh, but yeah, we still want to just get maybe something with aloe vera or something just to kind of like keep it cool because it's still really stingy and hot and a bit red. Those tacos were definitely my food highlight so far. They're so yeah. good. Oh, I dumped that ramen. Oh, the ramen was really good as well. Oh. Oh, they're so different, you can't yeah, compare. You can't, you can't compare. <laughs> Just go to both, yeah. do both things. We didn't realize we could have walked the High Line the whole way here earlier. We just weren't thinking, were we? So this is a super fancy CVS pharmacy that we're heading into. Check out this building. This is so impressive. It's obviously converted into a CVS now, but wow. What a cool place. We literally just stumbled across this earlier. We saw the sign for it and we were like, oh. That's an odd looking CVS. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see if we can find now some things to calm down our face. <laughs> and I think we might just pick up a few snack bits as well for the room. Although I do want to go to Trader Joe's for some snacks as well. We're just gonna head into Trader Joe's and pick up some snacky bits for the room. I absolutely love this store. I'm also gonna have to stock up on my everything bagel seasoning because I literally use that every morning with my breakfast. Are you excited? <laughs> what do you supposed to buy at Trader Joe's now? I feel like we should have watched some Trader Joe's hauls or something. But we're just getting a few bits for now. Yeah. And we can always come back. But yeah, it is one of those stores where you kind of want to get recommendations for like what the good things are because it's a lot of their own brand stuff. You can't walk past Krispy Kremes and see the hot light on and not pop in for some donuts. <laughs> so we've gone for some original glazed. Oh, I'm so excited. These are the best ones. Like they just are, you have to get original glazed, especially when they're hot. They're just amazing. Are they good? <laughs> we are back in the room. We've just had a proper fit of what I like to call the jet lag giggles. <laughs> Do you ever just like, be so tired from traveling and then like you just get really weird? <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys what we got in Trader Joe's. Rachel was just telling me that this bag's really weird looking. It really is. Um, but the other bag that looked quite cool was like $4 more. So we went with the one that looks a bit weird. Uh, so we got these blue corn tortilla chips. Um, they look really good. And I think we saw someone have these on their vlog and they said they were quite nice. And more importantly, what we plan to dip those into. This is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Greek Style Yogurt Dip. And again, we actually saw someone else have this and uh, it looked really, really good. I absolutely love their seasoning, which is why I bought three. Uh, I'm probably gonna get more <laughs> because I've already gone through two of them since my last US trip and I've been trying to go easy on it because we booked this trip quite last minute so I wasn't sure that I was gonna be back until May. Um, so I was trying to make my three jars last all the way to May but then I found out I was going to New York and I just started <laughs> lashing on there. We also got some Trader Joe muffins. They are blueberry muffins and they look really, really tasty. They'll be perfect for breakfast. And finally, we got some chocolate chip cookies. We actually spotted these right as we were coming towards the tills. They were a last minute grab because they just looked so good. It's handy to have these kind of things in the room just for like during the day when we come back for a bit of a rest and we're peckish. We can just like have a few little snacky bits and then 
go back out again. So uh, that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're just having a chill. We got a lot of steps in today. We're a bit exhausted. <laughs> we obviously stayed up a lot later than we planned last night because of the whole face situation, um, which we've still not fully recovered from. I'm actually a little bit traumatized. <laughs> but it's fine. Just like put it behind us for this trip. So we have just left the room. We're on our way to meet some family. We're gonna go for some proper New York food. Uh, my dad's cousins actually live in New York. We kind of call them like our uncle and aunt though. Um, and then they have kids that are like around our age or actually a bit younger than us. <laughs> so yeah, the last time I saw them was about 10 years ago when I was in New York. So yeah, it's been a long time. We're gonna go for some food, like I said, and then we're gonna go up to the edge, which I'm so excited for. It looks like an amazing place to see the whole of New York City. Stick with it, running in a wheel, no So I'll be taken out for I'm dead and gone, oh I'm so high We really enjoyed our trip to the edge. Highly recommend going for the sunset hours, seeing the sunset and then also getting to see the city during golden hour and then at night, like when the lights and everything light up it was just amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Join me tomorrow for Chinatown and much more. See you then.